does. Welcome back to another vlog. It's a mini vlog. It's a mini try on haul, try on clothing haul. Hey, I can't even talk. But yeah, you're probably wondering what is happening in that video. Well, let's rewind <laughs> and let's start my weekend. And so you know what was happening in that video. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep this intro short and sweet, and let's get started. We were off to a play date at a very nice place called Funky Frogs in PE. And this is what I do to prep her hair, especially when I want something quick and not too much effort because she slept in these. She's going to take them off. So first I start by using a water bottle that has a bit of hair conditioner in it. Spray it on her hair just to get it wet and a bit uh, moist. Then I add some amla oil in there to moisturize her hair and then i do a light detangle where i start from the tip and work my way to the root but because it was saturday it's not our normal hair prep day didn't do it um, too intensely just to get her hair looking neat and fluffy um, because we we're going to be outside it's a quick and easy way to get her looking neat then i take that hair and i plait it to stretch it out so that later on just as we're about to leave i can then tie it in her little barbie hairdo and i do that to her whole head all over so that it can as you know natural hair shrinks just to have that bit of an afro effect to um to her hairdo then once i'm done with all of that i take amla oil again and I prep her scalp that is exposed to moisturize it and then yeah it looks neat it looks moisturized and it will be easy for when we leave the house for me to just remove the pads put on the elastic bands and make her look cute there we go and she usually is very good at this if she's not distracted by her siblings um, quick and easy way guys just to make your, your, your kids look neat without too much of you know hairstyle hacks Drum, okay, go back and go back and do your puzzles. I'm gonna go back and do your puzzles. Would you know where Yeti is? Oh no. Yeti? Mm -hmm. I 
even a phone. Oh, hi, son. because they didn't want to leave the play area um, I had a play date with a few mom friends of mine and yeah I looked good I'm a bit shiny now but I didn't even get a chance to shoot everything before because it was just such a struggle leaving the house and uh, my youngest stayed at home with my husband because uh, it was literally it's a toddler place where to Andy um, the dads weren't gonna be there so I didn't want my husband to be alone and I would not be able to have taken all three of the kids by myself because I know whenever we leave they get upset and they throw tantrums like what I just recorded before so I'm on my way back to the mall now to get some of baby stuff because I couldn't do it with them. I thought I was going to, but hey man, the, the tantrum they were throwing was just too much. So I'm going to get a few of baby stuff and then go back home. I haven't eaten today. It was just, yeah, intermittent fasting extended. It's, two, it's 17 minutes past two. I should have eaten at 12, but it's fine. I'm still good. I'm still going strong. So yeah, guys, that's parenting for you. My powder up and go for a bit of shopping like I always do. I don't even think it's a birthday vlog anymore. It's just a weekend vlog. Like, there's literally nothing special I'm doing. Um, 10 year high school reunion. I'm not sure if I'm going. I'll see how I feel. I'll see how I feel in a couple of hours. But I feel like just popping in. I might, I might pop in. We'll see. to walk and get electricity because the way it's set you have to drive all the way around you are uh, this one no ways Geba, I decided to walk to get the electricity because there's no place for you to go in directly from spa where I'm at I'm gonna try and show you now and you have to drive all the way around which I feel like is a waste oh the wind guys PE and wind and my city is like this. I'm also sweating so much. Like, I'm wearing the most. Yeah, man. Let me get home. And let me do a mini haul on the things that I got. I'm redoing my wardrobe. I'm going to show you how I used to dress. <laughs> and how I dress now. And to anyone, it might not be a big deal. But when you're going through a mom frump. And that phase of being unsure of yourself. Being self-conscious. Uh, dressing like nonsense some people don't go through it some people just bounce it's, it's like kudos to you who do but to me I've been dressing like my husband's mom and I'm not disrespecting my 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 mommy law but I'm just saying I've been dressing badly you know so yeah man I decided to get myself a new wardrobe just a few items so I'll show you that when I get home yo but I'm sweating and my makeup is a mess but whatevs let's go home okay guys so i had said that i wanted to show you like a few items that i bought so um i decided to start with the outfit that i was wearing today so i got these jeans um from Muse africa they quite nice they have this thing here at the bottom um they have a minimum stretch so not much stretch to it and then i got this shirt as well so it's one of those shirts that have this situation on the side with this so um it's quite long but i don't care to wear it long 
so i bought it because i wanted to tuck it in i have a big behind so it's hard for me to wear shirts that are fitted and then still cover at the back so i don't want that so how i tuck it in is um i loop through here loop through here okay not pulling too tight and then then i tuck in the loops and then i adjust accordingly and then i have the tucked in situation so i really like that and that's how it sits at the back and this was my outfit for today the only thing i don't like about the shirt is for example um it does open a little bit here because i have larger boobs but when i went for a bigger size shirt then it 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 was too baggy so uh i don't know i'll do something about this but yeah i really liked it fitted cool then let me show you i got then a darker pair of jeans and at the bottom it does this okay and then the same shirt as this one okay but in a lighter color in a lighter color also has the situation happening so i'll put on then this outfit and show you this is the lighter colored shirt i think guys i think i took a medium i'm not sure um and this is the darker pair of jean uh, i want you to see the bottom there we go it's got like a white wash and then this is the back okay same shirt just lighter um again it does the same thing here that i don't like so i think in future i need to check for that because like i said if i do end up taking a bigger size then it just looks like i got it from someone <laughs> you know and that's not what i want There we go. This is also nice and cute. I also like the tucked in look here. It covers enough at the back. The strings can come out on the sides. It's fine. I don't have an issue. I just really hate this. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should wear something that <laughs> squeezes my boobs back, but yeah. I really like this, guys. I really like this fit. Yeah, man. Okay. Then I got this other shirt dress. I've worn it already, but I'm gonna show it to you. I really like it. I'm alright over these jeans. Um, I've worn this. It's my favorite. Let me put it on and show you quickly. Okay. So here it is on. Like I said, I've worn it already because, oh, guys, I like it so much. So I'm going to wear it as a dress. One thing that I don't like about the shirt dress, isn't it? Especially if you have a big breast and a big behind. It can make you look really large and like a teeny tiny. Um, so in the past, whenever I wanted to hide my stomach, I used to wear things that are, are very flowy. And -y. I just realized that they actually make you bigger. Than what you are so rather i get shape but i like this 
I like this a lot. So this is it long and I wore it as a dress already without a tight underneath. I don't have an issue with short things. It is quite long. So as you can see all the way here at the back and then at the front it's like this. Ne? And then I've also worn it as a shirt. So let me show you how I've worn it. Okay. Okay, so I've also worn it as like a one side out thing. Here, guys, in this stylish neon what? <laughs> like, how cute! Uh, yeah, I've worn it like this as well, which I find super cute. And looks like that at the back. I just don't, I don't know. Like, can you let me say me? How do I make it look better? I put big, so. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah. Anyways, so this is how it looks. It has pockets as well as a dress. I really like this look. Classic, nice, comfortable. I feel like I look good. I feel like I like this kind of vibe, but I don't like covering up too much. But I like this. I also have a similar shirt that I got before that's like this. Um. As I know, I'm again, it's a very washing in. So, I think I've been in about it. I need in the comments as a belief, guys. It's a clothing haul, not a you know what I mean. <laughs> so, please don't come at me. They're not ironed, okay? They just came from the wash. <laughs> so, yeah, critical team here. But, yeah, this shirt dress I've worn before. So, this is the first shirt dress that I owned. Um, and it had these shoulders. Let me put it on for you. And let me show you what it looks like. I get the The fit is better, neighbor. But um, it is proper fitting, like quarter fitting upper on the arms. But even when I feel like it's closed, it looks really nice. So I've worn this already, but with a brown belt in the middle, like I said. Um, I still had a bit of a stomach, so it would bulge and just look weird. So I'll try and find a picture and insert it somewhere there of me wearing it in one of my Instagram posts with a brown belt in the middle, uh, just to give it a bit of shape. So this is what it's like. It is a bit shorter than the other one. And this is the back shoulders it came with a yellow belt i hated the yellow belt so i paired with the brown belt and can you see up havana they it's 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 the material is tighter funny enough Gilena, i got it at mm, what's our course this i think i got it at china mall on kosho and kosho i have to check where i got it but the material is much sturdy you see so i don't have that that awkward opening here it just i like this and again um we can do the same thing and oh i can this oh yes i'm not going to do it properly but just for you to get the vibe of one side tucked in one out but i'm not sure i like it with this see when my hands i don't have a bag i can't even this in to just yeah like i don't know how to make this look cute up a bag so but this this vibe could work as well. Um, I've been yeah. So that's that. And then I'm gonna show you two dresses that I got. Ne? One I got when I was going to a work function, <laughs> a staff party. It was my first time feeling good, feeling sexy. And the other one I wore to a baby shower. Um, yeah. Let me do that. Okay, so here's the dress. Oh, guys, I find this so cute. But obviously, um, I wore a better sort of bra on top. Um, so it goes a bit tight here and then it just flares and you can adjust. Ne? But the size I took, it's, it's big here. So I had to put together with the material. But I really like how cute it is. I haven't 
actually worn it in such a long time and it's such a cute dress uh that's the back and look at that you have to be careful with these dresses is that whatever shape wear that you wear underneath you have to make sure by now it really brings in your waist because if the waist is bulging snazzy so everyone has stomachs like whatever we have shape wear to hide that <laughs> um if your stomach is not held back it's gonna bulge and just make you look a bit frumpy but it's cute wear too it's very poppy doll like I said, I paired it with a, um, the strapless bra situation, so it didn't show. So this was, yeah, man, I really like this. I didn't take much pictures in it. I should have, but I didn't. And then the last one, which is the most risque piece that I have in my wardrobe. <laughs> I actually like doing clothing hauls. I should do these more often. They're quite fun. Let me show you the last one. And then this number, um, I did wear it with something underneath because, wow, I feel like it's just, it shows too much in the chest area, but let's ignore that. Um, let me do this quickly. Okay. It's quite dipped, so I wore a vest that covered up to here and it's very short. <laughs> it is very short. So there it is, and there it is from the back, and yeah, of course, you know, tight in a pants. See, this is nice. I haven't worn it in a while. The last time I wore it, I wore it with leggings, but I'm gonna hold it like this because I'm uncomfortable. Um, but I really like this. All of these guys get got from China Mall. All of these, all of these. I'm gonna try and get a picture of what the place looks like. Um, there. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite. Favorite. Um, I haven't worn it in a while. It is quite short. I wore it with heels, but okay, guys, just because we're moms doesn't mean we can't look good. So yeah, man, that's that. That is my little piece of clothing haul. If you like this, let me know. Also, if you want to know what shape where I'm wearing, let me know in the comments, and I can also just add it in there in one of my videos um on the shapewear that i wear because to see in 2022 nobody got time for being self-conscious about your midsection or anything else just like my friend said wear shapewear from from a all the way to your ankles and look good you know that's that so guys that's it on my mini clothing haul let me know if you like this i actually enjoy doing this i should do this more often I actually enjoy doing this <laughs> yeah so that's that i got the the shirts the brown the light one and the black and white shirt dress and then the two pairs of jeans from the africa ne? um i went there because i wanted to know the style of jeans that's gonna fit me and then i'm gonna invest in like proper jeans Maybe from H&M or Zara online or whatnot. I'll see. Because I really want a jean that's going to last me long. And so I see those fits are golden for me. They work really well. The ones that are really thin at the bottom. So yeah. And then the rest of the yellow shirt dress. And the two other dresses I showed you. I got those then from China Mall. From a place called New Feeling. Um, they cost around... 250 to 350 rand per item so i've noticed that they're actually not that not that cheap but abakoduru per se if maybe you want an item and you want to go out it's easy to just pick up and go like i said i'm redoing my whole wardrobe so i'm still trying to find my style still trying to fi find what like what i'm comfortable with what i like and then go from there i'm gonna build i also want to do a bit of she in online shopping but I'll do that once I'm comfortable and I know what I like, um, what looks good on my body, what what is flattering. That's what's important for me right now. And so that's why I'm getting these little bit by bit pieces of clothing because I've been, like I said, I've been dressing frumpy, oversized. I haven't been wearing anything that is like fitted to my body. And yeah, so that's that. I just needed to rectify that because I said everything was from China Mall and it wasn't. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's that. That's the end of the vlog. I'm not going to make it long. Uh, yeah, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed a clothing haul. Oh, she's pulling my hair. 
if you want to know about my shapewear i can do a separate video on that as well but thank you for the love and support and we'll see each other in the next one bye Melanie, say bye. Okay, sure. Bye, guys.